Allergies and COVID-19, which is which and what do you have? Dr. Greg Silverman joins us this morning trying to make sense of it all. Dr. Silverman, we're out of flu season, but there's so many similarities between the symptoms of the flu and the current COVID-19. Correct. Good, good morning to y'all. Good morning. Um, yeah, what I wanted to go over was when people sneeze or just because they cough doesn't necessarily mean that they have anything. And so the answers are we really want to know the difference between a flu versus just an allergies because it is allergy season and a lot of patients come in and see me and say look i've got a little cough am i okay and the and and the, and the answers generally are if you have a fever that's a that's a really sign of something besides just an allergy allergies don't give you fevers if you just have the sniffles and kind of a kind of a cough or a sneeze if you go outside that generally puts you in the direction of allergies especially if you haven't been out of this city. There, there, although there are some COVID cases in the city, if you have traveled outside of the city, that may suggest that, that you have caught something else rather than just allergies. Or if you have them continuously, that is if you've had it for a long period of time over the last several months, and you say, look, I've got this cough when I wake up, those kind of things, or if it goes away, it's really important that you understand that's probably not a virus, that's probably just allergies. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of people uh, contact us daily saying I have this symptom, that symptom, and the other symptom, plus I have a long history of this, that, and the other, and uh, everybody's on edge right now because they think it might be uh, COVID-19. What do you recommend when it comes to deciphering between uh, the various things that you're feeling? Well, kind of know if you've been, it, it, first of all, everybody's got to understand that you have to have, this, you have to continue the social distancing and the mask and all those things. I go out to these large box stores and I see people are just wide open. You can't do that. Don't don't do that. That's that's not a great idea. There is still a virus out there that even though you may not have a real problem with, somebody in your family may have a real problem with. And that's why it's still important for you to wear a mask. Having said that, not everybody out there has that. So my answer to you is, especially if you know this, if you've had this in the past, if you've had a cough and just kind of the, the runny nose and the runny eyes, the answer is probably you have allergies. Or if you have a fever and you have a sneeze and you just don't feel well, that may be something else and that may be time to get tested on those. The other question is, is have you been doing this, what we're, what we're saying, the social distancing, the staying at home, the wearing the mask, those kind of things. If you've been doing that, your risks go down significantly for having caught the virus or, or having any real problems with this. And that's the other thing, uh, Dr. Silverman, we're coming into a huge holiday weekend, Memorial Days this weekend. Uh, any recommendations uh, or things that you'd like to really stress for our viewers at home that might think about venturing out? Uh, do what the CDC has told us to do. That is, continue to, to be diligent, continue to be careful about this. We really, remember, we really don't have a treatment for this virus. We really don't have any cure for this virus. The virus is still out there. We have sort of blunted the curve and understand that, that we don't have as many patients who are having problems with this as we thought we would or that we were worried about. So you really kind of blunted the curve. Having said that, you haven't brought the curve down to zero. So in those patients who are really kind of at risk, and we've already gone over this, the, the, the elderly, the patients who have problems with their lungs, the diabetics, the hypertensives, which is a lot of patients in this, in this city, you are at increased risk for catching and having problems with this virus. Understand that. So if you are that, be a little bit more diligent, especially around other people, especially understanding, have they been traveling? Do they have any symptoms of this? Be really careful with that. Dr. Silverman, we always appreciate you coming and visiting on Monday.